What is that? What? The box. Tampons. Unboxing time! I had some credit and I made a big order of tampons, which for me is code word for plants. That's a lot of peanuts. Four people go crazy. These are actually biodegradable packing peanuts. They dissolve in water. Pretty cool. I can't juggle. Four, five, six, seven. Perfect. You probably say I'm crazy for always doing all my plant chores on white carpet, but that's why I have a plant mat. Knowing me, I'm gonna rip these. Things. Oh my god, I cut the leaf. Don't cut the leaf, don't cut the leaf, don't cut the leaf, don't cut the leaf. Ow! It's so cute! Here's the spread. White Fusion, Medallion, Thai Constellation, Variegated Fry Deck, Green Goddess, Pothos Golden High Color, Variegated String of Hearts. For the eagle eyed people, you might notice that I already have some of these plants. So why do I have duplicates? They're replacements. Just kidding. They are backup plants in case some of them don't do well. My String of Hearts, the super long one, is currently propagating in water right now and I don't know, I'm just obsessed with these. I already have four pots of propagations already going on, but can never have enough of these. I want these in one of my greenhouses. Frydeck, my beautiful mother plant, is in the ICU rehabbing, and I have six of her children growing right now. Can never have enough. Calathea White Fusion. I know you're supposed to pronounce it Calathea, but I can't, my brain can't. I have one of these and it was ravaged by spider mites. This is going to just be a little nudge for the other plant to get it together. And these two, I don't know why I keep getting Calatheas. They don't like me. But they're so pretty, I can't help it. I'm gonna assume these have spider mites though. So I'm gonna do a whole treatment for all of these. Thai Constellation, I have a few of these, but let me show you my plans for these. This little beauty, let me turn it around. I unpotted this Monstera, rooted her in water, and I'm now putting her in a hydroponic setup. So the Leca is holding up the plant, and the roots have grown into the water. That Leca at the bottom shouldn't be there, it just fell down. But these are the most insane roots for such a small plant. So this is doing really well in here. So this Tycon completely growing in water and I know a lot of people are like, you can't grow Tycons in water, it'll get root rot. And it's clearly very happy. When I first got this, I unpotted it and I found that there was a sponge plug in there and I typically don't like plugs in my plants so I removed it, 
lost a lot of roots, so I rehabbed it in water, and then once the roots grew in that water, I transferred it to this hydroponic pot, which I love because it comes with a bubbler, an air stone that will circulate oxygen throughout the water, and it took a long time before it popped out its first fenestrated leaf, but this pot looks really lonely, so I got another Taikon, and my plan is to do the same thing, remove the sponge plug, let it rehab in water, and then pot it together in this. So it has a friend. So when I first bring home house plants, I always inspect them for pests. And you have to just come with the assumption that there is going to be some type of pest growing either on the leaves or in the soil. Especially calatheas because they are spider mite magnets and you can usually see little specks underneath the leaves. I don't see anything, but that does not necessarily mean they're not there. I'm extra to the max, so I am using my digital microscope to look at some of these specks that I see just to make sure that it's nothing. anything but these are still gonna get a bath. I love using Castile soap to shampoo my plant. It's been my go-to for a while now. It's actually one of the intended uses of this soap. Also is it just me or do I shampoo my own plants more than my own hair? and I don't want all this gunk going down my drain, so I pick it all up. And just one final wash under the sink just to rinse everything off. Squeaky clean, I love it. Now for extra, extra protection, I am gonna spray them down with my homemade DIY insecticidal soap spray. I am running low, so I'm gonna make a little bit more. And I'll show you. This all-natural insecticidal soap spray is so easy to make. It's just a little bit of neem oil. A little goes a long way. And then that Castile soap again. This is going to emulsify that oil. Then just fill it up with some warm water. I also add in some yucca extract because this lowers the surface tension of the spray. So it'll allow the spray to actually stick onto the leaves as opposed to beating off. Like any oil-based spray, you want to avoid direct sunlight or grow lights for a few hours. If there's an active infestation, I just leave it on and reapply it every few days. There is no active infestation that I know of, so I'm just wiping these off to keep it clean. Moss is so gross. So while we're on the topic of new plants, this Philodendron Brazil behind me is also new. I made a reel on it recently and people went berserk because I had a really crusty looking pothos whose roots had just dried out so much and I ended up getting this to replace that pothos. And that pothos, I propagated that I'm not even kidding, like 24 times. And I've always just given away all of those cuttings to people around me. And as a joke, I pretended to throw that pothos over my fence. And the number of comments I got about that was insane. Like I've never had to ban people from my channel before, but I've had to ban people, especially this one guy. He actually started cursing at me and I was like, this is a plant page. Some of the comments I got were, do not normalize replacing living things because you're bored of it. This is insufferable behavior. He acted like I was throwing a baby over the fence. It is totally okay to replace plants and downsize your collection. If you have a plant that is not doing well or you're getting overwhelmed by the number of plants that you have or a plant is just 
not giving you joy anymore, it is 100% acceptable to replace that plant. Because what's important about this hobby is that it brings you joy. And if you've killed a plant, that's also okay because plant care is all trial and error. I have killed so many plants over the years, not on purpose, I didn't murder them, but from each experience, I learned something new about what I'm gonna do differently next time. And it just kept getting worse and worse. This guy said, Why don't you ever just be happy with what you have? Stop buying stupid stuff online. Sounds like a fan to me. So what's the lesson from all of this? People online are crazy. And if you kill plants, that's okay, because you learn from that experience. And if you wanna buy pretty new plants to replace them, that's also okay too. So be nice or leaf. Look how clean and beautiful everything looks. I'm so happy I did this. Okay, the next thing I always check for is the soil moisture. And all of these are actually pretty recently watered. The pot is heavy and I can already tell when I was pulling out the moss that None of these need to be watered right now. So we took care of all the potential pests that were on the leaves, but you can't forget about the soil because fungus gnat larva can be living in the soil. So I'm going to be using diatomaceous earth and the reason why I'm wearing a mask is not because it's toxic, it's actually completely all natural and safe around kids and pets which is why I use it, but the particles are really fine and they shouldn't be inhaled. Under a microscope they look like shards of glass and when pests come into contact with them it actually dehydrates them to death. You can also sprinkle them or spray them onto leaves and it does the same thing for pests that live on the leaves. But oh my god this was taking a lot longer than I anticipated. This is supposed to take me like 30 minutes max and it's been like two and a half hours. <laughs> Only because I had to stop, feed the kids, now they're taking a nap, and now I want to take a nap. Last step, I'm going to quarantine these in that bathroom, which already have two plants that are quarantined from spider mates. So I'm going to move these on the other side. like higher humidity, so I'm gonna put it in a cloche. Are those the tampons? 